Hi guys, it's Paige at Comfort Books, and I'm here to do a quick haul. Um, I don't remember the last time I did a haul. I think it's just because there was like, I keep doing this, I keep getting like a rush of books, and then I'll do a haul, and then like the next two weeks I get nothing, or maybe like one book, and I, that's not enough to do a haul. So then I wait, and then I get a rush of books, and I'm just like, why does this keep happening? So I didn't really get a rush of books, but I did get one, two, two, three books in the mail. But I don't know where the last book is. That's the problem. I had it, but then I totally didn't mean to just get so close to the camera. Sorry. Um, I had it, but I don't know. I don't know where my boyfriend put it. Anyways, that doesn't really matter. I'll show it a different haul. So I have a few books from work and then a few books that I got in the mail. So I'll show you the books I grabbed tonight. Um, the ARC box is always full and I wanted to look through it because I knew there were some new titles. And this one was actually hiding. I don't know how long it's been there, but I'm glad I grabbed it. It's called Orphan Number 8 by Kim Van Alchemid. Alchemade? Looks like this. And I guess it's about, um, a girl who's separated from her brother and sent to a Jewish orphanage, um, for medical research. So... It sounds good. I, I was, I read it a few minutes ago. I read the, yeah, I read the whole book a few minutes ago. I read the back of it a few minutes ago and I was like, ooh, my boss walked in and I was like, this sounds good. And he was like, what? I mean, she was like, what? And I was like, nothing. This just sounds good. I think I'm going to take it. And he was like, she was like, okay, bye. I was like, bye. Um, okay. And the next one I picked up, which actually, it looked YA, but I don't think it is. And actually the, the cover looked really good. And the back sounds good. It's called The Well by Catherine Shanter. I wish the the cover wasn't bent like that, but that's okay. But doesn't that look so cool? And hey, there's a card inside. I didn't even know. How cute. It's, did you like what you read? Tell us. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. But this is what the cover looks like, and it sounds really good. I guess it's just, it's like post-apocalyptic. It's when, it says, when Ruth Ardingly and her family first drive up to London in their grime-encrusted car and view... The well, they are enchanted by a jewel of a place, a farm that appears to offer everything they are searching for. An opportunity for Ruth, an escape for her husband Mark, a home for their grandson Lucian. And then it just talks about how the world falls apart, I think. Yeah, it's like the first, the next sentence is, but then the drought begins. <laughs> so it sounds really good. I'm excited to get to this. Um, and it also comes out in, oh, came out May 19th. Hmm. I'll still read it, but and this orphan one came out. This doesn't come out until July 7th, so I have time. And then, okay, so the next one is a book I borrowed from work, which is Inside the O'Briens by Lisa Genova, if you don't know. She's the author of Still Alice, which is a book about a woman that gets diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's, and it's just about her and her family dealing with that, and then her children deciding if they want to get tested to see if they have the gene and whatnot. And this book is probably about exactly the same, except for the disease is different, like, and, and it's a boy. This book, the main character is a cop, and he gets diagnosed with Huntington's. And he has about the same amount of kids that the girl had in Still Alice, and they deal with his disease, and they deal with the kids learning if they have to get tested, which is kind of annoying me that it's, like, the same exact thing. But at the same time, it's like a different, if it's, it's a different family, it's a different story, so it, it doesn't bother me that much, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm giving it, the first couple chapters, I was kind of, it was like, whoa, a moth! Get away, moth! The first couple chapters, it was boring, and I had to, like, really hold on to the book to be able to, I was, like, really pushing myself through it, but then after I got past, like, the middle of the book, I, it started to get really good, so I'm glad that I kept with it. Okay, so then the last two things I got, I got two things in the mail. I got an ARC, which comes out on, in July. It's called Between the Tides by Susanna Marin. I do not remember if I requested this or if I did a giveaway or something like that, but it came in the mail and it looks interesting, so why not? I'll read it eventually. And then I also got an arc, an older arc, because the book's already out, but I won this one. And it's called Scarlet Undercover by Jennifer Latham. It's funny because I, I put this out on the floor at work, and then I entered a giveaway, and I guess I won. But this is the arc, and this came out in May. And I kind of like it because the font's really big, but she asked... It's, it came in, like, a little post office box, but it was so cute because 
it, when you opened the box, I wish I, I was going to take a picture, but I was too excited. I had to open it. Um, there was like little bubble gums, like, uh, um, you know, those old fashioned bubble gums that are in like yellow and blue wrapping wrappers. That's what I'm talking about. It was covered in those. And then the book was all wrapped up like a present. And I was like, oh my God, it's so cool. It's my birthday. And so I opened it up and this was inside. I totally wasn't expecting. I didn't know what book it was because I couldn't remember, but it was this one. And the author signed it. She said, Paige, thank you so much for entering the giveaway. I hope you enjoy Scarlet. XO Jen Latham. So that's what it looks like. I'm so excited. Hope to read this soon. I have a couple other books that I'm reading right now, so I'm not going to read it right this second, but it's going to be the next one I pick up after I finish one of the ones I'm reading right now. That was a mouthful. And those are also all the books that I received tonight or today, this week, last week, whatever week. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have book hauls that you want me to see, link them down below or just tell me what you guys have been reading lately. Thanks. Bye.